Hey guys, it's Jack Two Star here, and I'm going to be bringing you a quick update on my recording setup. And I'm here to hopefully solve some problems. A lot of you guys have been, uh, might have also been having. Uh, it's frustrated me for quite some time now. And I'm going to try to explain it as best I can in in this video here. So this is concerning my let's plays and potentially anyone else with this problems let's plays or videos of that type that require a capture device so let me start off by giving a bit of backstory so I had bought way back in I think 2010 the easy cap capture card off of eBay it's about eight bucks and it was my you know Go to source for making let's plays for the longest time until I started noticing it was having some problems with audio, and so I kind of set it aside and said, You know, I'm going to get something a bit better. And that's when I bought this thing right here. This, for those of you who don't know, is the Dazzle DVC 100 capture card. Uh, it's what most people have used for quite some time now, and I've heard it's a great capture card. And I wanted to get around to using it and getting back into Let's Plays back in like June of last year, which is when I kind of made the switch. And I could not get it to work. I was having all these problems with rec actually like recording videos, and if I could do it, it would be in really, really like terrible quality. And I just didn't want to upload it, you know, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't find a right program to use with it because it wouldn't accept uh, Windows Media Encoder and the Pinnacle Studio. Every time I recorded with it, it gave me really, really bad video, so I didn't really want to use it. And that's kind of why I've been putting off videos for so long, for uh, almost, or actually I think I'm over a year now, so a year without any Let's Play content whatsoever. Recently, however, I decided to give it another go, and so yesterday, which is Monday, I got them all set up, I set this, or I plugged it in, and I tried recording with it. And basically what happened was, when I hit the record button in Windows Media Encoder, what would happen is, it would record literally like the first quarter of a second, and then just freeze. And then I would hit stop and it would, you know, go just fine again, but I would only have the first quarter of a second. And that's, you know, worthless to me. So, after about four hours of research and experimenting with different settings and whatnot in both the program and the capture card and drivers and whatnot, I finally put it aside and said, okay, I'll try again tomorrow. Today, then... After some more experimenting, I came to a, a conclusion. I don't know what I was thinking or what I was doing, but I decided to try and record a video. Um, or see if I could record just audio and then or just video and see if I could, you know, that would lead me to somewhere. So I basically selected the Dazzle as my main video source. But then my sound card is the main audio source, and guess what happened? I could record a video, and it wouldn't. It would be a full video, and so I got all excited, and I was kind of like, "Well, wait, what does this mean?" So then, through about another hour of research and more experimenting, I came to a conclusion. Another one. Basically, what that conclusion is: if you have Windows Seven. Uh, and a 64-bit or higher processor. This thing right here is the Antichrist. It will not work. Why? I'm assuming because, I mean, while it is a fairly newer model, the Dazzle, it's still a fairly old capture card. I mean, they do still produce them, they do still sell them, but I don't think they've been updating them. Um... And so, I, I know it's meant for like Windows Vista, and most people, including myself, are not running Windows 7. So, 
that's pretty much what was my main problem, was this thing just does not want to work on Windows 7. And another thing was, I was thinking, well, maybe I could, you know, because I couldn't record audio through Windows Media Encoder, if I could try using a different program to install it, or to, you know, re record it. Audacity or any other program I tried wouldn't even accept it. They didn't even rec recognize it. So, what I've then come to realize is that the audio board inside the Dazzle does not work with Windows 7 whatsoever. And also, I couldn't even record video unless it was in like really, really, really bad quality. And obviously, I don't really want to upload stuff like that, so this basically became a paperweight. And... You know, I'm really, really pissed off at this thing right now. I mean, fuck you. So that's definitely going on back on eBay because I kind of bought it like a year ago, so I can't really return it. But I'm going to be putting it on eBay, and that's basically all I'm doing with that. So I decided, well, I still really want to make videos and get back into Let's Playing. So let me update you guys on that scenario. Basically, I tore my house apart in search of my old capture card, which is over here. Let me show you guys this. This is basically my setup. Yeah, it's kind of a big mess, but basically up here, yeah, I got a new setup going on with my room. But basically, uh, composite cable, dual-ended, runs from the TV all the way down into this conversion box here. And then my splitters, the male end goes here, a female end or uh, my PS2 cables or whatever system I'm playing goes into the female end of the splitter and then the other male end goes into this thing which is my easy cap which is my old capture card which I used for many many years and unlike this piece of shit this does not give me any problems it works just fine or Okay, so basically the only problem with this is because this is also an older capture card. It didn't work with Windows 7 at first, just like that one. The thing is, when updated to, to the latest driver, this thing did not work. But this thing did. So, if you need, so if you have this capture card or you want to, you know, buy it because it's switchy, it's like 8 bucks, and it works as opposed to this thing. Uh, I can post a link to the driver that I can find because it's pretty easy to find. I think I have the page bookmarked on my computer somewhere. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it works just fine. The only problem is kind of disappointing, but whatever. It's better than nothing. I cannot use the S video. So, you it's basically strictly composite. And it's just the driver, you know, it's no problem with the actual device itself. But, yeah. So,. That being said, I guess I can update you on uh, what videos are coming out because I finally got this all figured out. Uh, first up, I recorded Three Worlds for Jack and Daxter, which I'm getting back into. Um, which were, in case you're wondering, Rock Village, um, the Precursor Basin, and then the Boggy Swamp. So you can expect about seven or so videos coming fairly soon. Uh, I did get some new games and whatnot, but I kind of want to wait till I get some more, like for other systems, because it's mostly stuff for PS2. So once I do that, I'll do another collection update video. And also, I'm trying because it's been so long. I'm trying to basically get on a, a schedule for re recording, where I, I pretty much want, want to finish up all four of my current Let's Plays, which are Jack and Daxter, Sly Cooper. Halo Combat Evolved, and Kingdom Hearts. So, I want to get all four of those done pretty soon so I can start working on other stuff like Ratchet and Clank or whatever. Um, so, that's basically that. If you need any other... Um, like, if you, have, if you have any questions about... If you want me to go into more detail about certain things, let me know. I can do, like, a follow-up video going into more detail. I'm just trying to explain this. Because it's frustrated me for a while. I know my friend Alan has had problems with it. And I'm pretty sure given that a lot of other people, based on what I read in the forums, other people have been having some problems. So I just want to 
try and offer some advice or some help with that and like no, no problem going in more detail with in a different video if I need to so that being said this is Jack T Star and I'll see you guys when I return to my let's plays thanks for watching guys see ya